What are people talking about on social media today? Marco Rubio, as the Florida senator, officially joins the race for the Republican Party's 2016 presidential nomination. Hello, I'm Kate Hockey, and this is the 406. And now, here are the top state headlines, state, statewide headlines for this afternoon. Republicans on the House Judiciary Committee this morning voted to kill the bill ratifying the proposed Flathead Tribal Water Rights Compact, setting up a likely House floor battle, battle later today over the bill's survival. The panel voted 11 to 10 to give Senate Bill 262 a do not pass recommendation and sent it off to the House floor. Senate Bill 262, one of the most contentious bills of the 2015 legislature, ratifies a negotiated settlement of Confederated Salish and Kootenai tribes' water rights. Arsenic-tainted water, sewage problems, and old seasonal housing at West Yellowstone's 1960s-era smoke jumper base have put the future of the Forest Service facility in question. Forest manage managers are lobbying their bosses at Region 1 and the National Office for an, an estimated $5.2 million in funding to refurbish the airport tarmac, upgrade the sewer and water systems, buildings, and the road to the facility two miles north of the community of West Yellowstone. A 51-year-old Columbia Falls man died in a weekend motorcycle crash near Hungry Horse. Craig Donald Beck was, was headed westbound on U.S. Highway 2 when he failed to negotiate a left-hand turn. He lost control of his Harley-Davidson bike, crashed on the north side of the road, and died at the scene. A 56-year-old Columbia Falls woman is suing the Flathead County Sheriff's Department, arguing a SWAT team member used excessive force when shooting her in October 2013. The federal lawsuit says officers responded to Michelle Gentry's home after she locked herself inside and threatened suicide. When she came out of her house holding a gun, a deputy fired 15 shots at her without warning, hitting her in the shoulder and back. Montana wildlife officials have lifted an advisory urging people to use caution when eating fish caught downstream of an oil pipeline break along the Yellowstone River near Glendive. The January 17th spill along a line owned by Bridger Pipeline LLC released 30,000 gallons of oil into the river. Most of the crude was not recovered. That's it for the 406. Six, subscribe to the 406 YouTube channel and tell us your thoughts about the show in a comment. Have a great evening.